So hi, I'm Aidan with the USLHT Blogs and I'm here with my colleague Steve Sakula and Seth Zenz. Um, so Steve and I both work for SMU working on the ALICE experiment and uh, I work for Princeton on CMS. Now we've just come out of the seminar um, which showed evidence for a particle consistent with a sanding bottle Higgs boson. I mean, we, we have a certain number of code words that you hit in a particular <laughs> way just in your introduction. Right. Um, so I would say we have discovered, which is the strongest word we ever use, and I only <laughs> use it between the two experiments as a personal opinion. Right. We have discovered something that is consistent with the standard model Higgs boson. And you notice I'm still cautious on the second part. Right. Because I don't think we have nearly enough evidence to nail down the properties of this thing we just found. Mm -hmm. Except yeah. its mass, it decays to two photons, which tells us it's probably spin zero, mm -hmm. but there's a lot more to find. Yep, completely agree. Um, I think for me, what gives me confidence that this is really a discovery is the radically different ways in which the two experiments not only detect subatomic particles, but then use the data to look for these, these similar decay channels of the Higgs. Radically right. different, and yet very consistent pictures of something going on at 125, 126 GeV. Really quite impressive in that sense. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty unashamed. I mean, <laughs> Rolf Dieterhoyer at the end, the director of General CERN, said discovery yes. in all capitals, yeah. verbally. So uh, whether it's the Higgs or not, yeah, I think there's a lot of work left. I'm the fact that the fact that we have global sigmas above four for both experiments, mm. um, I think is, is strong. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's unlikely to be a collective hallucination of two experiments any longer. Well, right? four experiments, right? CDF and D0 that, have seen... Well, that's a good point. That's right. That's I mean, right. This to be is interesting the in the type of Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, I think it depends where your where your <laughs> fluctuation is coming from, right? All The longer you run, the more all statistical fluctuations should go away. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, that's right. 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 I mean... It should smooth out, yeah. which is what you right, see uh, in uh, many of those, like the p-value right. curves. Mm. You can see... Those curves are really smoothing out. There's little fluctuations, but they've really flattened right. out since yeah. the December. If uh, you have, if you have, right, if you have a systematic error that you're not accounting for, right. then of mm. course, as you get better and better statistical precision, it will stand out more and more strongly. Yeah. Um, but it seems so, so unlikely that two completely distinct experiments like this would have a common systematic effect yeah. at exactly, right, exactly that mass yeah. in, in at least two channels. Right? Probably more. Right. Probably, right. Yeah. CMS showed more channels, and there was maybe a slight excess in WW, right? I forget what the significance yeah, of that was. Yeah, we, we, we had in WW and BB Bar, which I work right, on, we had well. these sort of uh, very broad excesses that were you know, between one and two sigma, somewhere in that range, I think. Mm. Um, which don't, which don't add too much by themselves, and of course we have this we have this fun thing where uh, Tau Tau has a bit of a deficit, which I don't think means anything, right? No. Because there's just so you few measure events. so right. right. You have very yeah. few events. You yeah. measure many things. Eventually, you get a fluctuation down. Even from there, actually is a Higgs there. You can still get a fluctuation. And in fact, from down. a pure statistical sense, I'd be shocked if no one had a downward fluctuation anywhere. Sure. That would be suspicious. Right. So, it was bound to happen at some point, right. just statistically, right? right. So. And I was really pleased with the way Joe handled that as well. He said, we look here, we don't see as many events as we expect. This is an interesting thing that needs more investigation, more data. He didn't say, you know, he didn't cover it up. He didn't say, oh, and then we, we see this uh, tunnel here, now let's move on. He didn't say that, oh, there's a serious problem here. He said, no, we need to do more data, more scrutiny. Yeah. And that's the best way. You've got to be op open and honest about these things. Oh, right? absolutely. And, say, and everyone was definitely happens. forthright on that today. Right. Yeah. You need more data. And... Uh, I mean, we're always going to say that, right? I mean, we're going to we're going to at least double again one more right. time this year, right? Yeah. So more data is on the menu, <laughs> right. right? And I mean, one one thing that that was talked about a little bit were the the blinded analyses that we did on CMS a little yeah. bit, where we when either we reanalyzed our 2011 data or analyzed our 2012 data, um, we finalized everything we possibly could and did all of the comparisons in sort of what we call control regions. Sort of things, er, um, events that are like our data, but not exactly like it somehow, yeah. like our signal. So we avoid looking for the Higgs, but we look everywhere else and we see, are we modeling our backgrounds correctly? Mm -hmm. um, and this was extremely important for us. And, but the, the real point of blinding is that you're not constantly, <laughs> while you're picking your cuts, fiddling yeah. around with it, saying, oh, what does that do? What does that do? And you sort of tend to... To, you can even invent in your own head good reasons, justifiable reasons, for picking the, um, the, 
the answer that gives you the best result. And right. that's what we were trying to avoid. Exactly. But mm -hmm. I, you know. Yeah, blinding should be removing your bias, not pulling out your eyes. Right. Right. <laughs> right. That's, that's, a, the that's a very blinding. good way of That's putting the way it. you should yeah. look at it. Blinding is not, you know, it's not a religion, it's a technique. <laughs> And you shouldn't do it to the detriment of making discoveries. Right. right. So, you know, that's that's the key. And, and everything that I think was shown today by Joanne Candela suggests this. Yeah, you guys had things well under control. You were confident when you unblinded. And the results speak for themselves, right? Um, you know, Fabiola hinted at something akin to blinding, where the cuts are tuned before you look at all the 2012 data. It's a kind of blinding. Mm -hmm. Not quite in the same sense that, that Incandela was talking about today. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you have two experiments, consistent results in consistent channels. It's interesting. Mm. I find right. it very It's hard not to say the word discovery. Yeah. It's hard not to say uh. the word discovery. And certainly the director, General Cern, was unabashed at the end of doing that. So. Right. It's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I want to point out there's a big difference, right, between analyzing the 2011 data set and analyzing the 2012 data set, right? Because with the 2011 data set, you've got to look at the whole range, not exclude anything yet until you analyze it. And it's also the first time we're seeing this level of data for all our calibrations and so on. And it was very different data from 2012, too. Right. They yeah. kept making that point, right? Pile up, pile up, pile yes, up. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you move into 2012, you know your detector very well, you know how it works, you've already excluded large regions, but you, as you say, get your pilot problem. Yeah. Um, or you have to change your, your triggers, you have yeah. to change the way the you're reconstructing the data, you improve your reconstruction. Discussing the cross sections as well. Some of these cross sections came out. Uh, you know, relatively far away from the standard model expectation, two sigma or more um, for some of these uh, decays. I think. Uh, I wouldn't say relatively far away. I mean, well, two sigmas, two sigma. It's, you know. Yeah. Okay. But, but it's interesting. There's tension. Yeah. Tension. I think. Okay. Is tension. The word, right? There's the tension. Yeah. 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 Um, and that sort of plays into is this a Higgs boson or not, right? It does. If some of the cross sections are off uh, compared to what we expect, and they and they stay off, and we have more data. That's suggesting there's something else going on, right? So. Uh, well, in a I mean, I think I think we'll have to to, to wait and see for sure. Yeah. But I mean, a part of it is that the tension um, between between uh, what was measured and the theoretical predictions is pretty similar in size to the tension between Atlas and CMS. Yeah. And we we know we know physics is the same, you know, in, yeah. at one side of the ring and the other. Um, so we really, I think, I think can expect. Well, we can expect the two experiments to converge. The question is where. That's right. And that's right. That's right. I'd actually love to see where Atlas converges with itself as well, because they showed the contour plots of the, the two masses and the signal strength. Um, and the contours were showing, I think, one sigma disagreement between the gamma gamma and the ZZ star. Well, then they overlapped enough that it wasn't too concerning. But yeah, yeah. yeah there's some, again tension. There's some I, tension. I want to see there, what happens right? as we have more. Do these converge? Right. Or do they? Do the areas just shrink? And right. They, and they stay distinct. They right. probably want to stay distinct. Yep. That, is, that is the question. For CNN. That is yeah. the question. So. But I, you know, I, th I, th I think, I think what we want to say is more data is needed, right? I think, yeah. I think everything we're seeing is consistent with how just how little data we have. And to be honest, I was, I was surprised that we did this well for the first half of 2012. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw the five sigma for CMS and Atlas, I was really happy. <laughs> Heart, throat, yes. clap. <laughs> yes, my hands were sore by the Heart, end of that throat, seminar. Clap. That was clapping. Yeah. That was a rough set of seminars to sit through and not it must have been worse to explode. It yeah. must have been worse to give the seminar. Right. Yeah. I mean, no, it's a lot of credit to the two spokespeople. I think they're, they're both very tired by the end, and I think they, they both sort of got a bit lost partly through their talks as well, because they had so much content to discuss. Both of them went... Oh, well, right. Well, also, I think there was this really genuine moment when, when Joe was just so impressed by what was on the slide. <laughs> right. I think he just, it was as if he paused to reflect on how great this was. <laughs> and I thought that was wonderful. I thought yeah. that was a very, a very human moment in the middle of this yeah. very stressful, very public, global presentation right. of these results. Both very funny as well, right? I mean, yeah. Joe yeah. started off with a joke of, this isn't the real CMS, it's just the backup. It's just the one that keeps it <laughs> Well, you got to loosen the crowd of everyone was so on edge, I think. They were excited yeah, so and tense. tense to see what the two experiments and had. A lot of us have been waiting for eight hours, right? Yeah, yeah. Some some of us stupidly got here at 11.20 <laughs> p.m. and yeah. napped we, overnight in the hallway. But yeah. hey, yeah, we're, no The stakes judgment. were high for this talk. Uh, <laughs> and then I suppose uh, one of the questions we need to face now is where do we go from here, right? We need to know it's the model Higgs. We've got until the end of 2012. 
Uh, how much more data is that going to be? You're going to double the data set? Is that right? Uh, well, I think the projections aren't firm yet, but I think you can say comfortably that uh, we've only collected about a third of the data this year that ah, we okay. intend to collect. I right. think that's a comfortable statement, at least a third. Uh, uh, yeah, I've heard the run was just extended. I don't know if that's a rumor I haven't confirmed that or not. Yet. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if yeah, it's a rumor or not yeah. either. I haven't seen it official yet about that. It's been that. considered, I mean, certainly. Certainly. That, I know yeah. that decision was up for consideration in August, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know what's happened as a result in the last 24 hours of, yeah. of, of any of this. So, right. Yeah. I mean, well, okay. I mean, we need to get sensitive to seeing things like the Tower and BB Bar modes, right, to make sure this is a standard model case. Yeah, that's or right. That's sure right. it's not. And is it... Is there something we need to do before the end of the winning period? I mean, we need to know the mass of the Higgs to develop the Teva scale, uh, TV scale colliders, right? What we can still learn by making some measurements is to figure out what further measurements we really want to see right. from a linear collider. I don't know. I, I, I think it's probably pretty well known that we're basically interested in the the spin of a particle and its coupling. Right, we want to right. know CP odd, CP even, we want to know something about its symmetries. Yeah. So I I guess there might not be too much to learn, but in some sense, you know, we could we could wait and see what more we expect to be able to do but with right. the LHC. But also we're gonna have a very firm stopping place at the end of this year before we go into this so called long shutdown right. one where right. the machine is going to be really significantly upgraded. But that's also two years when we have to think about where, it, where else the field is going and yeah. what we're doing with this new information. Well, and, and even with the current data we have, we can already start probing questions like, does this thing have cousins? You know, is this right. boson alone up there, or is there something heavier that's related to it? Right. I'm interested in that question. So. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people are working on it. So. Right. <laughs> in the next few weeks, we're going to see ICHEP, obviously. Uh, the publications are, um, are going to follow. Um, the July 31st is July the target publication okay. date for both experiments, same right. journal, same and, day. And this is for pretty much everything they want to publish, right? So Right. Well, we heard from, well, we know from CMS that there are five channels that will go into that publication, and from yep. Fabiola, we know two that were shown today, yep. and she did state in the talk that WW would be included in the publication. Okay, right. That was, the, that was the firmest statement we heard about the publication yeah. from Atlas. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got at least uh, eight strong measurements going in there, right? That's so, right. That's right. Including some fermion final states, which is uh, important. Well, I and think then, I think we'd really like to see the the, the BB bar and the uh, yeah. Tau Tau from Atlas as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, our our uh, BB bar on CMS is which which I plug because I work on <laughs> you is actually it. is actually. <laughs> um, about as good or maybe even a little better than what they were showing um, from, oh, from, from, the from the Tevatron. Oh, yeah. stunning. Oh, oh wonderful. They, wow. they, they, okay. right, they, they were saying this is the best in the world, and that, that held for a couple of days. Right, um, right. So... That's uh, why they had we're, to do we're very <laughs> we're very proud to sort of sort of equal them on their best channel in what mm. for us is a very yeah. challenging channel here at mm. the LHC. That's right. That's um, right. And but we're we're not there yet. Our goal our goal in BB Bar by the end of the year is to be sensitive. You know, to to really be able to see our own three sigma bump, but that's okay. very, very, that's very ambitious. That's I think fine. that so that's I think goal. that might that's require further improvements. Yeah. Um, but then. And Tau Tau, I think, is is doing quite well also, yes. although mm -hmm. they're... That was they're, well demonstrated today. Yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, really, yeah. Year. I mean, we have to put a lot of work in, but we've got a really nice spot for the Higgs in terms of looking at all the final states. And I think the thing I like most about the Higgs uh, decays are that they're all um, suppressed in some way. Right? If it goes to two fermions, it's helicity suppressed. If it goes to uh, gamma gamma, it's going through a loop. And if it goes through the heavy bosons, it's um, off shell, it's kinematically suppressed. Mm. Um, I think that's really good because that leaves, leaves space for other very rare decays to be searched for. That's right. Um, when when something is rare, machine. other yeah. rare things can compete against right. it, and maybe we'll see them. But it would be cool. I think this is a sign like... that we need more sleep collectively. <laughs> <laughs> we need more sleep. Either more days for more sleep or a bit both. Yeah. Those yeah. things are incompatible, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, yeah. we can. We can sleep now. They're just they're starting to run again after they they sort of yep. shut down to to improve the machine for a week or so. When we finally decided, okay, we can't take any more data. We must finish our analyses now. Right. And we turned that around incredibly fast, stunningly, surprisingly yeah. fast. I was amazed and at that. On now, the one hand, there's a feeling of oh, no more data taking for a couple of weeks. But then you think, well, it's been a couple of weeks. It's time for data taking like again. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, time to move on to the next thing. That's right. Yeah. That's right.
Well, um, all right. Well, yeah. we should probably go get some work so. done. Or exactly, I'll have a, have a well-deserved rest. Uh, so, thanks for um, joining me for this. Uh, thanks for having us in. And uh, not too bad. <laughs> oh, it is a standing model Higgs boson after all. <laughs> hey.